All right, come on. Gonna be a good stream. Go play some Halo. Let's go. I'm excited. A few moments later. Sorry. About to grab this sniper. About to go in. Kill all four of them. With the power weapon. Get that flag cap. And if I could hit a shot. All right. Okay. All right. We're having a good time. All right, this guy's easy. He's got his back turned. And <laughs> I suck. Okay. This is, uh, this is getting pretty bad. And I got a toxic teammate. Wonderful. All right. Calm down. Here we go. And I can't even throw a grenade right. Halo Infinite, please. Now, some of you may be like me and are really feeling the MCC or even Halo 5 fatigue on the wait for Halo Infinite. And this has been made even more apparent over the last couple of years with the lack of competitive or multiplayer shooters being released. We're still playing those same old games. Nothing that's really enticed me to come away from Halo for a little bit. Yes, we have Valorant, but that's really the only one I could think of. People are still playing MCC, Rainbow Six Siege, old Battlefield games because Battlefield's been missing for the last few years. And of course, we've had BRs and those have been really fun for me. Personally, I love Battle Royales, but they do get stale after a while. Sometimes you just want a change of pace and I've honestly grinded just about everything I've wanted to grind in just about every shooter that I have interest in. Enter Splitgate, a game you might have heard about since it's really taking the internet by storm right now, more on that later in the video, but you also may have heard of it before because it's been around for a little bit. It's been out since 2019 on PC. Well, now it's getting released on console as well, so Xbox and PlayStation players can enter the fray and enjoy this game with full cross-play support between all three platforms. Oh, and before I forget to mention, it's free to play, so you have zero excuse to not go on ahead and try this game. This video is going to detail a bunch of information for you guys so that you are up to speed if you're new to the game or even if you're coming back after a little bit of a hiatus. There will be timestamps in the description if you are somebody who is coming back to the game and already knows a little bit about it, but if you are completely new to Splitgate and it has piqued your interest, then I highly suggest watching the whole video just so you guys get all the details you need to know. Splitgate was made by two men in their college dorm room at Stanford University in room number 1047, which is where they get their studio name from. So it's developed by 1047 Games, and it started out as just a project for school. But this studio started as a two-man squad. Now they're up to almost 30 developers. The game is definitely picking up in popularity as well. And stop me if you've heard this one before, but Splitgate can be easily described as Portal and Halo got together, had a baby. Now, someone who's played Halo for the last two decades there definitely are several comparisons you could tell that splitgate is very much inspired by halo in the glory days of the arena shooter and while your halo skills definitely will transfer over to this game however it will only get you so far you may feel like you're doing great in your first few matches but those tend to be easier especially filled with bots to really get you into the game and learn the mechanics. The thing that makes this game so great and what I really do appreciate about it is the amount of depth in the combat. The portals add a whole new dynamic, a dynamic that's gonna take me a long time to learn and master, but it's definitely something that I look forward to. And the portals are the main reason why this game is so different from Halo because the pace of combat, things change so quickly in this game. You could literally get across the map in a few seconds with two well-placed portals. You could also shoot through these portals, so you don't have to necessarily go through them. You could shoot enemies through their own portals or even your own portals, which really creates the opportunity for some crazy plays. Portals also affect the velocity of your character. So if you are going downwards through a portal and you keep going through these portals, your velocity increases and you can get to hard to reach places on the map. Now, speaking of maps, Splitgate originally launched with 10 maps in the core arena modes. That being Stadium, Pantheon, Helix, Club Silo, Atlantis, Highwind, Olympus, Abyss, 
Oasis, and Lava Well. But it also had the simulation A through G maps that were exclusive to the showdown and takedown game modes. And of course, all these maps are available in custom games, which has plenty of options to create some really fun game modes to play with friends or randoms or even bots. Yes, you could practice against bots to really prepare yourself for that Halo Infinite technical preview. With the fresh release of the game, three new maps will be coming, one of which was already in the open crossplay beta, which was called Impact. Now, two more maps will be added starting today. Crag and Foregone Destruction will become a part of the crossplay beta, which brings the map total of the game to 20 now. Splitgate features plenty of game modes. Not only do you have your social quick play, of course there is competitive ranked, but also things like 2v2, team deathmatch, free for all, king of the hill, domination, capture the flag, teabag confirmed, where you actually have to teabag bodies to get points. It's awesome. And of course your classics like oddball, which you could actually customize in this game. You can unlock different kinds of oddballs for your character which is really cool and I actually think Halo Infinite's gonna take a page from that if you guys watch my breakdown video of the multiplayer trailers. We also have a classic mode like Capture the Flag coming to Splitgate in the future that is sure to be pandemonium, especially with the ability to create portals. It's gonna be very interesting to play. Splitgate does feature a bunch of weapons that you will be able to customize with varying camo unlocks in the game. In most of your non-competitive playlists, you will start with the Carbine, which is much like the DMR in Halo, and the Assault Rifle. But here are the weapons that you will be fighting for on the maps when it comes to Splitgate's multiplayer. You'll see the Battle Rifle, the Plasma Rifle, the SMG, the Shotgun, the Sniper Rifle, the Pistol, the Railgun, the rocket launcher, and of course, the BFB, the big fucking bat. Quick note on grenades, yes, there are grenades in the game, but they do not do damage to players, so get that habit out of your head. The main point of a grenade is to close enemy portals. Yeah, the bat too. Oh. Man, we need to now, in addition to the new maps and the new game modes, as well as secret game modes that got added into the beta like Showdown and Simulation Golf, there are plenty of things coming with the 1.0 release of the game. Right now in the beta, there is a 10 tier battle pass that can get you a head start on some of the cosmetics in game, but there will also be a 100 tier battle pass launching with the 1.0 release of Splitgate, which will of course feature new cosmetics, but there will also be bug fixes, mouse and keyboard support, FOV slider on console, and customized controller layouts and mappings with the July 27th reopening of the beta which originally was supposed to be the 1.0 launch of the game but for these reasons we're about to discuss they have pushed that back a couple of weeks to get the game fully ready so with the surging popularity of Splitgate, they've only been able to have their servers hold a maximum of 65,000 players at a given time. They've been exceeding that, which has caused them to make a queue system in order to get certain players in, but they have to wait. In order to stop denying players access to the game, they decided, hey, we need to do something about this. They have actually hired a new engineer to join the four currently on the team to help work on the back end and begin to start helping alleviate some of those server problems. On top of that, they've also acquired $10 million in funding to help expand their development team and increase the server capacity, which hopefully will pay dividends with getting the server issue fixed. It is really a good problem to have to have their game so popular because they really deserve it for how awesome this game is. Now let's talk about the future of Splitgate because the developers do have plans for things down the line. It's just a matter of how successful the game is and if they can do these things with the current size of their development team. Now Splitgate already features a theater mode, but they would also love to add another mode that we've seen in Halo games. And that is of course a map editor or something more akin to Forge. Cross progression is another thing that is on their radar along with a Nintendo Switch port. So keep that in mind. If you enjoy the game, support the developers. Go on ahead and tell your friends about it. Word of mouth has done dividends for this game. They spent zero dollars on marketing. This has all been
been from word of mouth that the game got this popular, which is insane. But social media and content creation is a very powerful tool, especially if you have a passionate fan base. And I have to give credit where credit is due. Shout out to the level designers of this game because the amount of creativity that goes into making these maps is absolutely mind boggling to me. And if you guys have been around the channel a while, you may remember the spotlight I did on the Halo 5 Mythic Arena playlist. By far the most fun and competitive time I had in Halo 5 and it really reignited my love for the multiplayer in that game. Well, fun fact for you guys, Blaze Lightcap, who I am honored to call a friend, was one of the Halo 5 sustained team designers. He was definitely one of the people behind the Halo 5 Mythic Arena playlist, and he is now a level designer at 1047 Games. He's directly responsible for the Abyss, Oasis, Lava Well, and the Simulation A through G maps. And he's also responsible for the practice arena, which will show you guys the basics to get you acclimated with the game. But he also designed the three new maps coming to Splitgate, and that is of course Impact, Crag, and Foregone Destruction, so I cannot wait to try these out because I am a big fan of his work. I am definitely going to try to get him on some Splitgate with me and stream it so that you guys can ask some questions, so stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can stay up to date on when I do go live with that. Also, I have a Twitter, you can follow me on there. I think another really cool thing that 10 47 did was allow him to hire Sergeant Slaphead, who was one of the map designers for the Mythic Arena playlist. He was just a community member, and now he's working for a game developer. So that's just a little inspiration for you guys if you're doing map design, even forging. Anything is possible if you are passionate enough about it. Keep doing that work, keep networking with people, keep getting your work out there, and good things can happen. Please go give this game a try, guys. There is plenty to do in it, whether it's doing challenges, unlocking new cosmetics, grinding for a new new rank or just sitting back relaxing and having fun this is a fresh experience something i sorely needed and i highly recommend it but i want to know what you guys think have you played the beta already or are you interested in trying this game out and if you have played it what did you think of it let's get a discussion started in the comment section down below i look forward to reading your comments and replying to them hit that like button to support future content as well as hitting the subscribe button to stay absolutely up to date on all your latest halo news because we have that technical preview maybe coming up this weekend and if I get in, expect an absurd amount of content coming your way. Anyways, I hope to catch you guys on either a previous video of mine or a future video of mine. Until that time comes, I'm your boy Patman, and I'm out.